through. Peace. I was sitting here, just sitting here thinking, because that's what I like to do. Today, my eldest, my firstborn, well, he's reaching the 17 mark of his wise wisdom life. And it's just really interesting to see all the patterns, like even like the programming or however one wants to explain it. But it's really, it's really, it's really interesting even to see how all him and his buddies, all their unique individual things, but what they like to do and how they come together and how like there's that innocence of that youth that somehow gets lost in translation as we grow up and like are told the stresses of life and it's like we're almost in a habit or program to think everything has to be hard and it doesn't like to show them that Working and being passionate in trials and tribulations don't have to mean suffering and hardships. Like, I'm realizing that as a parent, too. And, like, even everything I went through and, you know, for my path and my journey. Because that's how I was taught, I mean, like, to break those cycles. But it's really fucking interesting. And, you know... I do, I know every, each of my children are going to have their own path and their own shit to deal with, just as I would, but just to be that light for them, I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful for the things that I know now, and I know I can't control them, I know I just will be a light for them, and to help guide them, even though they'll do what they want to do, because, I mean, we all don't like chocolate cake we all no one wants to tell us how to wipe our ass we're all gonna wipe our ass how the fuck we want to wipe our ass and we won't i just don't want them to stay constipated to situations and what i mean like that because i just like to talk about poop analogies because everyone shit so it's like i like to do it but even i realized my older son even like with girls, I mean, they're young and I'm, I'm not even, I want him to be respectful to himself and treat others how he wants to be treated. And he's going to learn how he wants to be treated through trials and tribulations of his own. But even getting misled and him standing up for himself and just the little things that even as adults, like I feel like we go through that. It's like gaslighting and manipulation or I don't whatever you want to call it really like. We'll just say, for instance, he had this girl want to be his friend, but she didn't want to have a relationship or have a title. And, you know, and I can get many aspects of that, but yet she wanted to treat him like a boyfriend, but then it was like leading her, on, leading him on because she didn't want to end in a commitment. And I get not rushing like they're like, ooh, every way it sprouts out. But I'm so proud of my son because... He just treated her like a friend, like what she asked for, instead of getting played by her. I mean, she's a sweet girl. It's like nothing. But it's interesting to watch because I see people at any and every age going through this stuff. And they're so tempted by wanting it. It's easy to have it dangled in front of them. And they still get used by it instead of just saying, you know what? No. You know? Shit. This is kind of scattered, which is, I like that. I'm a tree branching off because <laughs> I like to branch off. But I don't know. It's just interesting. I've watched these boys grow up from little and now they're bigger and turning into that little manhood stuff, I guess, whatever. And seeing and then we're looking back when I was at a certain place. But it also society and programming how... My mom raised me and then how I was brought up too. I mean, everything plays in as a factor. So it's interesting. Like, and I, you know, like talking about the matrix of the programming, like I'm still on here to live and play this game too and learn these things because I was stuck 
with some malfunctioning programs, but were they were they there so I could set myself free and learn that they were? So like everything was meant to be. And observing it through the youth that I'm around and even watching how I do different than my mom. And, you know, I know I don't know everything. And I'm always open to learning and observing other people. And just, you know, you know, we have everything to gain, nothing to lose. Like that perspective too. And teaching my kids to be their own original self. It's just really fucking interesting. I don't know. I just thought I'd share this because it is a big moment for me. And the fact that it makes me so happy and on a high vibe or however way you want to express it, like just joyful, but in a balanced way, like I feel so great. And it's so great to know that all three of my kids are totally blossoming and turning like a new leaf compared to where we were and where we are now and I'm grateful to see the growth and the change in their behaviors and everything and them being self-sufficient and independent and just like fuck it's like fucking amazing and I feel very accomplished and great and you know it, it was them and it was me it was whatever like it it was the whole system that worked together in a way too but there's some key components and I, I, I don't know, like it can always go deep, like Pandora's box. I feel like that, but it's pretty fucking awesome to see such a great change. And so, and see how everything works as it's supposed to, and to help them clear out those bugs in the program at this age. And to always grow so there'll always be something but it doesn't have to be bad or like not bad or like fear-based like I feel like the healthy fear like oh shit I want to do that like I ain't gonna go run out in front of a damn car I am not gonna go fearing cars but I sure as hell ain't gonna go run out in front of a damn car so not everything we don't have to be fearful of everything like that we don't even have to be fucking fearful We're just aware but at one point, there has to be that fear. It's like that teeter-totter of feeling those things to know what to feel and know what not to do, know what to do. Like, it's crazy. And observing, like, all that, just knowing your attention. But I've observed a lot of things, and I feel, I still feel like people, there's a difference, a fine line of promoting, or whatever word you want to say, I'll say promoting, awareness compared to fear like you know yeah be aware discern but fuck don't sit there and nitpick every fucking thing and forget to live even if you think this and this and this like fucking live 